What's up guys? It's Dan here at Blue Collar Training. And today I wanted to talk about something that, well actually my coworker uh, kind of brought this subject up. So he was asking me the other day about, you know, he wanted to start lifting again and lose, lose a little bit of fat. And he was telling me he wanted to buy all these fat burners and it was a hydroxy, hydroxy cut and all of this other, all this other stuff. And I basically just told him that that's a waste of money that he doesn't have to spend. I don't even know how much they cost now, but he doesn't have to go and spend all this money on something that doesn't really do all that much for you. Before I get into that, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a dietitian or any of that. I'm not a specialist on any of that stuff. I just happen to have a lot of experience with fat burners and dieting and all that. I told him, you know, don't even waste your money. It's it's expensive. It doesn't really do all that much, for, you know, for the price. Maybe if you got like something, I don't know, for like 10, 15 bucks and it lasts you a couple months, it might help you a little bit depending on the ingredients. But I basically just told him, if you want to lose fat, you just have to be in a caloric deficit. Just really watch what you're eating. And if you did want to try to supplement some sort of fat burners, fat burners, um, a good source of caffeine, a good source of like B vitamins, maybe some CLAs, some fish oils. In my experience, the only thing that really works, like I said, caffeine, um, B vitamins, and CLA or you know, fish oils. It's really just how hard you're willing to diet, how bland you're willing to have your diet, how much cardio you're willing to do, how much, how often you're willing to go to the gym, all that stuff. Like I've said in a couple of my previous videos, like a supplement is supposed to be exactly that. It's supposed to be supplementary. You can't replace, you can never replace a good diet with a, a supplement. You can never replace uh, going to the gym or doing cardio with a supplement. You can never replace that hard work with a supplement. It's never gonna happen. That's not gonna, you know, get you the results that you want or something into your system. You still have to put in the work. And that's basically what I was telling, you know, my buddy. And he kind of was talking to me and I could tell he, that's not really what he wanted to hear. And that's not, I mean, that's not what really anybody wants to hear. You know, people nowadays want something quick and easy and they want to have the easy way out. And it's just, when it comes to, when it comes to getting in shape, like you can't fake any of this stuff. You can't fake going to the gym. You can't fake doing cardio. You can't fake eating healthy. Like if you're not doing it, you're not going to get the result. And a fat burner might help a little bit, but it's not going to, be, it's not gonna give you that advantage to someone that does like 30 minutes of cardio a day or watching their diet and you're over here just in a high caloric you know, surplus and eating whatever and going to the gym, not doing cardio, like you're still gonna, and you're have that fat burner, like it's not gonna replace that. You're still gonna be fat. Or you're still gonna put on the weight. It's never gonna, like I said, it's never gonna replace that hard work. You no, know, I basically told him too, exactly like what to take, how he should take it, like, and tell tell him that he needs to get in the habit of going to the gym or you know figuring out how to train, how to train properly, how to do the proper form, you know, try and how to recover properly, what to eat. The difference between a caloric surplus and a caloric deficit or maintenance, stuff like that. But I won't really get into all that, but that's basically what I was telling him. And like I said, he wasn't really, I started telling him all this stuff and he kind of, I could tell he kind of just started losing, losing motivation in his head. And I told him too, you know, it's, it's all about habit. Like it's once you get in the habit of doing something, it's hard to break. But that initial getting into the habit 
is the most difficult part once you get it over that hump because for some people it's like well they'll do really good for a couple weeks and then they'll just kind of lose motivation and then they'll just kind of stop going so once you get to that point where you start losing motivation that's when you really have to step up your game and really have to start forcing yourself to go and really like trying to push yourself even when you really don't want to and you're tired and you don't want to do all this. That's the only way you're really going to get results. Um, just like I said, don't, don't rely on fat burners. Don't rely on stuff to replace the hard work because it's just not going to work. You can have, if your diet's on point and you're working hard, you don't need any of the other stuff. It just, it just helps. You know, it's something that it just makes it a little easier, but you don't really need it. Anyway, that's it. Um, like, subscribe. I hope to see you again.